Hey bestie, um, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, last week was my birthday actually, and this was my first ever birthday that my friends and my family got me flowers. So I ended up actually getting six bouquets. <laughs> six bouquets of flowers. I can open up a flower shop right now. And we should actually normalize giving flowers to men. Because receiving flowers is fucking hard. That got me the idea actually to do today's video actually. In today's video I want to try and crochet a bouquet of flowers because I wanted to have a bouquet of flowers forever actually so I thought why not crocheting one so this is the um, picture I found on the internet that I want to try to recreate it's lavender for this I'm using of course the different colors of yarn I have a purple color and actually another purple color which I'm gonna show you once so that's my second purple color. These are called, this is cherry and this is actually called orchid. Two pretty cool colors. Of course I'm using a green color for the stem as well. Found it, so this is the color I'm using for the stem and I would say let's start the process actually. Alright, so for this I'm using the purple yarn and I'm gonna do a slip knot the beginning then I'm going to chain up 58 when we've crocheted a chain of 58 we are going to skip three loops and we're gonna do a double crochet into the fourth loop actually so I'm gonna twist my uh, yarn around the hook poke into the fourth loop go through yarn over I have three loops on my hook and then I yarn over, pull the yarn through the first two loops, I yarn over and pull the yarn through the last two loops. And this we are going to repeat four times the same process of a double crochet into the same stitch. So we are not moving on on, a, on our chain, we just continue working in the same stitch. When we have done this, it should look like this. It's like a little pedal. And then we are going to top on our stitch with three chains. So we top it with three chains and now we go into the same stitch again that we worked the double crochets in and do a little slip stitch in connecting these. What we are going to do now is work on the little spikes of the lavender. For this we are going to go into the next hole of our chain, like into the next loop of our chain, yarn over, slip stitch and now we are going to chain up seven. Now when we chain up seven, we're going to attach our seventh chain to the same stitch again with a slip stitch. And now we're going to continue the same pattern for the whole chain actually. So we're going to go into the next loop, gonna connect it with a slip stitch. Now we're going to top it with seven chains and we are going to attach the seventh chain with the slip stitch to the same stitch again and go into the next loop and that's what we are going to do for the whole chain until we are hitting the end created four of those the lavender petals and um, what we are going to do next is the stem and for this we're going to need we're going to need um, wire and our green yarn <laughs> Hey. 
Hey bestie. Yesterday I finished two of the flowers already. This is how they look. Just to figure out how to do it and if it works, what I was thinking of. Now I'm twisting the yarn around the wire, which I took double stranded, and hot glue it. And then I'm gonna hot glue the flower, crochet flower part to it. Not much, and then I'm gonna twist it around the hot glue to make it nice. Can you see this? And clean. And then I can cut it. So I'm contemplating it actually if I should do leaves to it. Does lavender have leaves? lavenders in different colors. I love them. I don't know if I should do even more, but I have like a dark blue one, a purple one, and more like a, I think that's like the perfect lavender color. I still haven't figured out if I should do more or if I should add some greenery because maybe I'm gonna add some greenery and yeah, I'm gonna add the daisies. I think they will look kind of cool with it like in a whole bouquet. <laughs> Hey Vesti, um, I just wanted to show you something. I started to do some daisies. It's actually the same process like for the stem as we did for the lavender. It's like 
simply a wire where I twist around the, the yarn. And as for the flower part, it is also super simple and that's what I'm showing you right now. Yesterday I was skiing with Pema, my best friend. It was Bestie's day. We had a very beautiful skiing trip. I'm so thankful actually that the mountains are so close to my home so I can go up there anytime I want. And afterwards we went some thrift shopping and I bought this and I bought a freaking leather pants. I always wanted to have a leather pants, those biker pants. And actually I wanted to have one in black but I only found one in dark brown and as you might know I love the color brown especially like wearing it in clothes so I'm very excited to style this it's the prison color <laughs> it's more like yeah it's like a prison color um crew neck and it says setter point Ohio I don't know where this is but I freaking love it and I love the color and I do not own something in this color so I thought why not and this was only seven bucks so yeah i love freaking thrift shopping i finished another one so basically what i've done is actually um i started with a magic ring and chained or single crocheted six stitches into the magical ring and then i um, increased my second row in the magical ring from six stitches to nine stitches that means that you increase in every second stitch and in row three, actually, you increase in every third stitch. So you increase from nine stitches to 12 stitches. And that shapes your um, front part, the yellow part, and of course, the green part. So you need to do this twice in order to get those two parts. And then we're going to connect those two parts with the paddles, which is actually pretty simple. We just loop our hook through both of the loops um, to connect those two pieces. And then we chain up six. We skip the first loop and then we single crochet in the second loop. And afterwards, we're going to attach a half double crochet three times into the next three loops. And afterwards, we're going to single crochet the last one and attach it with a slip stitch to the next loop of our daisy center and then we're gonna do the next pedal which is actually the same process we chain up six we're gonna single crochet in the first stitch or skip the first loop single crochet in the second one half double crochet for three times in the next upcoming loops and then we single crochet again in the last one and then we connect the leaf to the center part of the flower. We're gonna do this nine times. So in the end, we're gonna have 12 paddles, but after the ninth paddle, actually, we're gonna fill it with some cotton. Because I got some cotton, you can fill it with some cotton or something else, like, I don't know, paper, something like that. And um, you're gonna fill this in order to have it like nice and clean and squishy. <laughs> and then we're gonna close the last three petals in order to have 12 in the end. And this is how it looks right now. Now we're gonna attach the stem. We're gonna use a wire again and we're gonna loop it in down below, like in the hole. I'm gonna loop it in like this and pull it all along into the center of our wire like that. And then we're gonna fold it and then we're gonna take our yarn again and we're gonna twist it around several times. Should look like this then. And then you go down, attach the yarn to the wire and then we're gonna hot glue it at the end to close it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the finished bouquet. I need to find a bigger, like a better vase for it and what I did is I also added leaves to the daisies like one or two and what I basically did is I took a piece of wire glued my yarn to the wire and started crocheting around the wire by increasing my stitches in length that means I started with a single crochet and I did a half double crochet and a double crochet 
then a triple crochet, a half triple crochet, quadruple crochet and stuff like that to, to go wider and then I went back again to the single crochet. Then I started to do the same thing on the other side and this formed my leaf. I did in total four daisies, five lavenders and a few leaves. And now I need to find a place, actually a spot where to to put it. Bessie, I hope you liked this little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the forever flower that I built. Feel free to recreate the flowers and tag me in your pictures if you do. Yeah, I can't wait actually to be back in the next video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to give it some thumbs up if you like those flowers. I absolutely adore them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more DIY videos in the future. I can't wait to be back in the next video. I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good morning whenever you're watching this video. I see you soon. I'm out. Bye-bye.